cash. And the win over Kitty Enterprise Idol also opens the Kitty Enterprise Festival on Saturday at Park International in downtown Lafayette. So y'all are ready to hear some incredible, incredible talent tonight. Miss Hannah Johnson! <laughs>
sure. I don't wanna be the reason for your love no more. Bye bye, I don't check it out, I'm signing on. I don't wanna be the loser when I can't even. I don't wanna be a fool in this game for two. So I leave you behind. Some other planet I 
still the charm and by just that long We get closer, we just get more lost I'll show you mine, I'll show you yours first Let's go there, stars, I'll tell you things In this place, and sunlight is pages The place that we're far wrong So long, I think that it's time to play. The winter's so cold, summer's over too soon. Let's pack our bags and settle down where palm trees grow. I've got some friends, some that I hardly know. And we've had some time to win shape on the world. We chase these days down with our some places that we will go.
Hannah Johnson. No! 
Closing on our show tonight, Miss Brittany Jackson.
Yeah. If you don't want to make an announcement, but we're looking at the and we have to leave. And I don't want to tell you guys how so much I truly, truly appreciate it. All of you guys from the day one, come back every week to cheer on the show 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 on the I am amazed. 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 Amazed.
I know that sometimes people might think that me as a person might be something that is, you know, a bit much, you know? And what it's taken to really push some of the things for the Canadian Air Product Festival has not just been about me. And it's been about Tim, and it's been about Kay, who's our marketing director, and Clyde, who is our um, community director, and Jason, who's our secretary. I'm going to probably throw my name around this if I know that we're doing the show, but... <laughs> but I just want to get this out to the public and understand why we're doing something like that, because if, if you know anything about anything that's been done towards LGBTQ rights, nothing like allowing something like the transgender community to have free admission is something that's been done before. And what I want people to understand that even in marginalized groups, as ours, we have those that are even more marginalized, and that we are sometimes the ones that condone, um, not condone, but promote that type of. So, yo, what I want you to understand when this festival comes March 27th to 30th is that. In order for us to move forward and to get things like gay marriage, and as far as getting things as equality, job employment, all those things, that we need to start thinking about being a little bit more nicer to everybody over here and not worrying about so much about what everybody has or what their life is. And that is truly the only way forward. And I know that LGBT, y'all, or Q, or thinking like, well, that's letters that individualize. Yes, we have an identity, but those letters are still together. And I am doing this for the transgender community because no one has done this for the transgender community before, and that's why I'm doing this. So I have talked to the festival of it, and the Canadian Pride Festival is a wonderful group of people that, yes, we're trying to put on a festival, but we're trying to make sure that everybody feels welcome. And for the first time in the nation, there's going to be a festival where people are going to be attracting a group that have been isolated out of the media for a long time, and I'm very proud of that. So, so I have to say on the matter, uh, it's not going to be something that's going to be meant to isolate or to, uh, you know, objectify. It's going to be done in a very uh, professional manner, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, it's not just me, but trust me, I take the consideration of our community into play when I make these decisions. I talk to Ted, I'm like, do you think this is going to be okay? And whether we want to believe it or not, who we are is something that just happens to face the political environment. And we're trying to go beyond politics and just focus on people. And I think we've been successful. We can't wait to see you next week. And we will see you here at the Good night.